what's up guys welcome back to another video this is a reaction to the terrifying truth about chimps and yeah from Ca casual geographic who i've reacted to quite a few times recently i'm not gonna lie i love his channel i love learning about animals but he just gets all these insane clips he knows his stuff and yeah these videos are always so fascinating to me and yeah with chimps i know they have got some weird thing to them and they are some devilish animals and I guess if you've got some stupid humans, then they're even more devilish. But yeah, we're going to check this video out. Obviously, I don't know much about them, to be fair, other than they're pretty strong and they've got massive mouths. And yeah, I wouldn't like to get bit by one or whatever, to be honest. But yeah, let's jump into this. Links are in the description to my Patreon if you want to see some more of my videos. But let's check this out and see the truth about chimps. One of the world's scariest animals just got a whole lot scarier. Oh. And Planet of the Apes is slowly becoming non-fiction. Because apparently chimpanzees are out here murking gorillas. Scientists in 2020. A gorillas are huge though. One witnessed a troop of chimpanzees basically jumping a family of gorillas. And when I say gang, we're talking about almost 30 chimps pressing a family of five. Oh Keep in mind God. a silverback can weigh up to 400 pounds and could probably bench press your car. And according to witnesses, the silverback was eating chimps left and right like they were paper mache. But eventually the chimps overwhelmed the bigger silverback and even kidnapped a baby gorilla. I'm not going to tell you exactly what they did, but that family of five became a party of four. And it wasn't even the last time. Because later that year, scientists watched the same group of chimpanzees do the same exact thing. Square up with a family of gorillas, kidnap a baby, and erase its name from the gorilla census. And it's not like we didn't know chimps were about that. They often hunt bush babies and vervet monkeys, and we've even seen them use weapons like spears to do it. But it's what? one thing to hunt something that weighs like five skittles. Going gorillas is another tier of black air force activity. Which is why I'd rather be locked in a room with a jaguar than a chimp. Cause at least a jaguar gonna make it quick. That's exactly right. Chimpanzees have been known to hunt using spears and the way they do it is not pretty. So what you gotta remember is these sociopaths share about 98% of their DNA with us and they have more in common with humans than just thumbs. They're part of the special class of animals that can create and use tools and chimps are probably the best at it. They'll take twigs, stick them in mounds and literally go fishing for termites. They'll use stones as hammers to crack open nuts and it's actually a lot harder than it looks. They'll use leaves as sponges to drink water, sticks to steal honey from bees. Some have even been seen making and using stone flakes, which are really close to what early humans used to make back in the day. But yeah, chimps also use spears by breaking off a stick, sharpening one end with their teeth, and then shoving it into the hollow part of a tree trunk. Because they know that's where bush babies sleep. Scientists watched them stab bush babies and force them out of their hiding spot in trees, where they proceeded to tear them apart and eat them alive. That is wild. Oh my days. So they don't actually yeet the spear the way a lot of people probably thought, but they're definitely too smart for everyone else's good. Also, fun fact, out of all the animals I've talked about, a chimp was probably the closest to ending my entire way of life. But that's a story for another video. Alright, so here's a story what? of how- Look at their mouths, man, bro. If if them being smart wasn't enough, they could literally chomp your head off with no struggle at all. Chimpanzee nearly ended my entire way of life. So this was in Senegal, that little country right there. I was visiting for a couple months, and me and some family decided to go to a zoo that, looking back, was way too run down to be called an actual zoo. The only thing separating the chimps from the general public were prison bars that were wide enough to stick your hand through. And before you even thinking, no, I did not stick my hand into the chimp cage. I was seven, but I wasn't stupid. Now, if you wanted to see stupid, you'd have to look at the people around us. But some of them thought it'd be funny to throw things inside the chimp enclosure. Not to like hurt it, but I guess to scare it. Either way, nobody in that zoo was winning an award. Especially when someone started tossing rocks in there. Yeah, let the stupidity marinate. I just remember watching the chimpanzee just sit there and take it. Until the people ran out of rocks. It wasn't until the chimpanzees started picking the rocks up that the people realized just what they did. Wow. They just gave an animal with thumbs and no regard for anything human ammo. So yeah, as you'd expect, the chimps started fastballing the stones back at the crowd and all we could do was run. I love that. You know, that is class. I absolutely love that. Take cover. And I vividly remember crouching behind a bench and when I got up, a rock flew past not more than four inches past my right eye. I was really just bad luck away from either doing this video with a glass eye or not doing this video at all. Look, you can say size matters all you want, but four inches made a difference that day. This picture might look cute, but it's actually one of the most disturbing things you'll ever see. I'm about to tell you one of the most messed up stories you've never heard of. So this guy, Dr. Kellogg, had the question I'm sure all of us have had at least once. What would happen if you raised a human without teaching it a language or having it around any other human? Oh my god, that is, that's so fucked. Like a nature versus nurture kind of thing. It's one thing to think it, it's another to be on CPS's watch list. So this guy had a human son, Donald, that he raised with a female chimpanzee he adopted named Gua. So he treated 10-month-old Donald and 7-month-old Gua the same in ways that would have had CPS, PETA, and the Geneva Convention pulling up. The experiment was weird. He would tap on both of their heads with a spoon just to hear the differences in the sound of their skulls. 
He would purposely make loud noises and provoke them just to see who would react first. At one point, he even spun Donald around on a high chair until he started crying. It got really dark really fast, especially when the human Donald started acting like his surrogate chimp's sister, walking on all fours, being overly aggressive, and even biting people. It's a shame the Pikachu meme didn't exist back then. Donald would bark like Gual when he wanted food and refused to walk on two feet even though he could. Eventually, the man who somehow graduated with a doctorate in psychology from Columbia realized that he was ruining his son. So he called the experiment off. The chimpanzee that they treated like a daughter and was part of their family, yeah, they packed her up and sent her away to be part of another experiment, where she was unalived by pneumonia a few months later. As for Donald, he grew to be an adult and eventually became a doctor. Un what? Until he deleted himself at the age of 42. Oh. And to add insult to whatever seasoned hell this was supposed to be, if you go over to Dr. Kellogg's Wikipedia, he was described as a guy who had no tolerance for those who were unethical. Moral of this video, Thanos should start a GoFundMe. I'm starting to think he was onto something. Some stories just make you want to go off the grid and avoid humanity completely. And while that may not be an option for you with NordVPN, your internet can. Yeah. Getting his money? Let's go. And not, not my best transition. I'll be better. NordVPN creates incredible to score a huge discount available only for a limited time. Home somewhere. Secure the bag. After this ad though. Here's why you should never give a chimpanzee Xanax. Sounds like common sense, but apparently it's not that common. What? Travis was a 13-year-old, 200-pound walking life lesson that lived with his owners in Stanford, Connecticut. He spent his entire life around people and was basically treated as one of them. He would do things like use the family computer, watch baseball on TV, he knew how to open doors with keys, and sometimes he'd drink wine out of a glass after a long day. Everyone knew him, and he would even greet police officers whenever he would see them around in a neighborhood. I want you to remember that for later. Travis even drove a car, and he did it more than once. It's like if this dude was an actual member of society. Now what would happen in 2009 wasn't out of nowhere, the red flags were there. He once climbed out of his owner's car and held up traffic for hours looking for a man that threw an empty bottle at the car. And there was one incident where Travis bit a woman's hand and tried to drag her into a car. Wow. But none of that was as bad as 09. I'm not gonna make any jokes cause this was honestly one of the most traumatizing things I've ever seen. Cause one day in 2009, Travis left the house with his owner's keys and the owner and her friend Charla Nash tried to get him back. The only problem was Nash used his Tickle Me Elmo to try to bribe him back into the house. And seeing someone else hold his Elmo pissed Travis all the way off. Travis brutally mauled Nash, tearing out her face and limbs and not even stopping when his owner hit him over the head with a shovel. And as the attack got worse, his owner had no choice but to literally stab him in the back. And a literal butcher knife to the back only made Travis angrier. Look at the f Wait, is this actually what they look like? I don't know. Is, this, is that what they actually look like muscular-wise? But to literally stab him in the back. And a literal but butcher knife to the back only made Travis just so you see just how oh my god look at the size of those things look at the muscles man Travis a. it's wild as well because they do you can they've got the same sort of b build as humans in a sense they're just fucking massive Angrier. eventually police were called yeah the same police from earlier it took multiple bullets just to get travis to stand down travis limped back to the house went to his cage and passed away the victim survived the attack, but Travis had ripped over The victim survived? 90% of her face off, like lips, eyes, nose, they were all gone. And I am telling you right now, do not Google that if you have a weak stomach. Those pictures- I might have to do it, I'm not gonna lie. Just personally f***ed me up for days when I first saw it. At the time, we didn't really know Maybe what not. set Travis off. Some sources said it was because Charlotte Nash was holding his Elmo. Others say it was because Nash had a different hairstyle that day and that freaked him out. But a toxicology report confirmed that Travis the chimpanzee had Xanax laced tea the day of the attack. Travis's owner obviously got sued, but then she died of an aneurysm just a year later. It was just bad for everyone involved. But at the end of the day, the lesson here is the chimpanzee never went crazy. The chimp just went chimp. Okay, I'm just going to... You know what? I'm not going to show. I'm going to look here. I don't know why I'm doing this, but... I just want to see. Oh my god. Wait, so is this after the surgery? I mean, people can see this. This isn't a problem. I can get it up. Flipping hell. I mean, you can see here. It's not loading for some reason, but... Alright, now let me see. I don't think I can show this one. Oh no, it is that. Fuck, you know, I... Imagine that. Imagine having your face just ripped to shreds and you can do nothing about it. Alright, what the hell has happened here? This man was attacked by an animal with a name that might just get me cancelled. 
This is the work of Trombicula Day, but they're also known as guidelines you better not homie, chiggers. A word that sounds like it has the potential to offend multiple ethnicities. Not to be confused with a species of parasitic flea known as jiggers, and honestly, I don't know what sounds worse. Chiggers, or chiggas, which is apparently less offensive, is a type of mite found all throughout the world, but the most infamous ones are found in the southeastern US, Midwest, and Mexico. I low-key forgot the warning, so if you don't like bugs, this might not be the video for you. Cause chiggas don't really bite, they'll actually just burrow themselves into your skin, make a little hole, and then spit out enzymes that break down skin cells. Which is exactly where the swelling and irritation comes from. The worst part is, you usually don't start itching until after the larvae falls off you. It's like you're not allowed to suffer until they're done with you. And once they are, they fall to the ground where they end up becoming their harmless adult forms. And normally the bumps oh, wow. they leave heal on their own. Also the chiggas in North America usually don't carry disease, they're just really annoying to be around. But yeah, I can't tell you who named them, but I can tell you they did not have a good home life. And I feel like someone owes me reparations for making me say it. So somebody sent me this, and I actually think there's a so random in the chimp that you got that random TikTok. Right answer here, but first I'm actually curious, which one would you choose? Like which one do you think you'd have the best shot with? Off rip, we can go ahead and eliminate Neither. the rhino for a couple reasons. Rhinos have really bad eyesight and even worse anxiety, mostly because they have to share a zip code with animals that would literally eat them balls first. Life is multiple choice, and rhinos consistently choose battery. So if this anxiety-riddled warhorse has a panic attack near you, you will be a chalk outline. The Komodo's an instant game over too. Because Komodos don't flatline their prey with- Bro, I've seen videos of Komodos just literally taking out other animals with no struggle at all, man. And they're rapid as well. With bacteria the way we thought they did. This homicide gecko is actually venomous. And they've been known to dig out human graves and eat the corpses. So don't think you can't get meal prep too. Oh. One bite and it's credits. And there's no- Look at the size of them. In the apartment you can go with this 10 This isn't real, is it? But leather assault weapon can't get to you. Now the Jaguar is actually an interesting one. Jaguar attacks on people are really rare. They're usually in self-defense. So you'd actually have a better chance of surviving in a room with a Jaguar as long as you don't provoke it or do anything to make him think you're food. However, Jags are solitary and in a one bedroom apartment, if that Jaguar feels like you're in its space, it could be lights out. Which is why your best shot is actually with the gorilla. They're natural pacifists that won't waste the calories attacking something that they don't view as an immediate threat to them. So as long as you don't look him in the eye, or smile at him unless you're trying to be Harambe's roommate. Mm. Your best chance at winning and, you know, living is with the gorilla. I want to show y'all something. So I made a video on this and a lot of people are commenting how they choose the Komodo since all they'd have to do is climb a couch or just wait there for 37 minutes. Some even said they can manhandle the leather assault weapon if they needed to. I'm not going to talk about how Komodos can be near- Someone's holding a Komodo dragon. What the fuck? Nearly 10 feet long. I'm not going to mention the fact that young Komodos can climb trees. And I'm certainly not going to acknowledge the fact that out of all the animals here, Komodos are the only ones that will actively eat humans. Nah, I'm not going to talk about any of that. Instead, I'm going to show you this. Is this actually real, this footage? No further comment. Bro, they're like from the fucking dinosaurs. It's dinosaur times, what the hell? Oh god, I'm genuinely shocked that any of these people managed to get close to chimps and even escape alive, yeah. Um, the second to last video made me realise that if you do not do anything stupid with a gorilla, that you can eat fruit with it, sit around, look non threatening just chill out. And also, I s there was that person who was like a friend, like who became friends with like a gorilla and they didn't see them for so long and then they returned years later and I think the gorilla recognised them, but I can't fully remember, but... Yeah, I don't even want to think about that. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. And yeah, chimps are not the ones for me. But yeah, that's that. And until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.